Good evening. I am hereby calling to order the March 11, 2019 meeting of the Mayfield Heights City Council. May I have a roll call, please, Lisa? Mr. Balistria? Present. Mr. DeJohn? Here. Mrs. Finney? Here. Mr. Mano? Here. Mrs. Sabetta? Here. Mrs. Snyder? Here. Mrs. Teresi? Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. like to welcome everyone this evening next we will have a special presentation which is resolution 2019-22 can I have a motion to suspend please Move. moved by mr. Balistria seconded by mrs. Snyder can I have a roll call please on the motion to suspend mr. Mano yes mr. Balistria yes mr. Dijon yes mrs. Sabetta yes mrs. Snyder yes mrs. Finney yes can I have a motion to approve? Moved by Mrs. Snyder, seconded by Mrs. Sabetta. Can I have a roll call, please, on the motion to approve? Mr. DeJohn? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Um, Lieutenant Sonhalter, would you like to join us up front? Mayor, um, do you want to go stand at the podium maybe and read this? That way everybody could hear them. He got a big smile on his face. He must be very happy not working these days. <laughs> so this is a resolution, resolution uh, number 2019-22, introduced by myself and all members of council. A resolution re uh, commending Lieutenant Christopher Sonhalter upon his retirement from the police department the city of Mayfield Heights, Ohio. Whereas Christopher Sonhalter has served with distinction in the Mayfield Heights Police Department for a period of 28 and a half years with the highest degree of dedication, humility, loyalty, and perseverance. And whereas Chris began his career with the Mayfield Heights Police Department on March 4, 1990. And whereas he was assigned to the Detective Bureau in August 1993, where he served for almost 20 years was promoted to sergeant on August 2nd, 1999, became head of the Detective Bureau in July 2003, and was promoted to lieutenant on September 24th, 2006. And whereas on December 18th, 2012, Chris was assigned to a new position as administrative lieutenant and placed in charge of the communications center and the jail, where he helped the department upgrade the, re the report writing software and records management system. And whereas during his tenure, Chris was lead investigator on hundreds of cases and helped provide justice for our community and closure for victims. And whereas Chris's efforts and sense of responsibility have given our city the finest in police protection for which we are grateful and proud. And whereas Chris has chosen to retire as of November 3rd, 2018, taking with him our heartfelt thanks for a job well done. Now therefore be it resolved by the Council of the City of Mayfield Heights, State of Ohio, that the administration, the city council, and the residents of Mayfield Heights extend their congratu congratulations to Christopher Sonhalter on his retirement from the Mayfield Heights Police Department and wish to express their deepest appreciation to Chris for his years of devoted service and sincerely wish a happy and successful, successful future to him. Passed March 11, 2019, attested by Karen Fagan, Clerk of Council, Mrs. Finney, President of Council, and myself, Congratulations, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anything you want to say? I'd like to say thank you to everybody here, and uh, it's been a pleasure working for the city for 20 and a half years. So thank you. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> thank you for your years of service. Next on our agenda is approval of the minutes from the February 25th, 2019 meeting. I trust everyone had a chance to read them over. Is there a motion to approve the meeting from the, count, from the minutes from the council meeting on February 25th? Move. Moved by Mr. Mano, seconded by Mrs. Sabetta. Are there any suggested changes, amendments, or deletions? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? 
the minute stand. Next, we will have, oh, does any member of council have any correspondence or announcements? Mrs. Snyder. Thank you, Madam Chair. The Yucca Creek Watershed Council will be hosting their first annual meeting on Thursday, March 21st, here at the Mayfield Heights City Council Chambers at 8 a.m. All are welcome. We are happy to host this event this year here. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Snyder. Mr. Manoff. I guess this will come under correspondence. I just want to thank Chief Elliott for this very, very comprehensive report on the state of the Mayfield Heights Fire Department. This is excellent. I read every page in here, and I, I, you did a great job. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Seeing none, we'll move on to reports of officers, starting with the mayor. Mayor DeSico. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, first, I'd like to start out by uh, congratulating Chief Bittner and Patrolman Trent Parker on achieving compliance uh, 100% with 100% of the standards for jails in Ohio for the 2018 inspection year. Um, the inspection assessed compliance with a group of standards selected by the Department of Rehabilitation and Correction. Uh, the group of standards being inspected focused on reception and release, classification, security, housing, sanitation, uh, medical and mental health services, food service, staffing, and staff training. Uh, the inspection consisted of the inspector receiving and or reviewing requested documentation uh, touring the, the jail area and having discussions with various, uh, various jail staff. So I want to thank the police department uh, for all their hard work in achieving uh, this level of compliance. On June 6, 2018, Mayfield Heights EMS crews responded to an incident for a car that had rolled onto a per into a person and pinned them against a telephone pole. The 24-year-old male was in serious condition, and the paramedics did a great job uh, upon delivery to the hospital. Uh, the trauma doctor, Dr. Capizani, I think I pronounced that right, uh, was so impressed with the job that the crews did, he nominated Mayfield Heights Fire Department for the 2018 EMS Star of Life uh, of Award. Um, he called, the doctor called this incident, incident the biggest save of his life. And we have been informed that the Mayfield Heights crew that responded to the call is one of the nine that will receive the award. Um, the, uh, it, it is a great honor. We're very proud that Lieutenant Jeff Lanahan uh, Firefighter Tom Zdanowitz, Firefighter Kevin Constantino, and Firefighter Ryan Gavora will be recognized for their efforts. We're very lucky to have such skilled and dedicated fire department personnel serving our records, so our residents, I should say. So congratulations, Chief, and uh, congratulations to the guys. It just says a lot about the department. Um, please join us for a public presentation April 15th, 2019 from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Ross C. D. John Community Center for the final community engagement session for the Mayfield Heights Connect Connectivity Study. We will share the plan recommendations, review priority projects, and discuss next steps. We would really like as much community input as possible. So you could preview the plan, preview the plan and let us know what you think by completing a three-question survey at uh, surveymonkey.com forward slash r forward slash mh connectivity survey and the number two. That's all on our website, so you don't have to memorize that. Uh, Effective Leadership Academy recently partnered with the Mayfield Area Chamber of Commerce and Mayfield High School to offer a Mayfield Area Chamber Leadership Academy to Mayfield Area High School students. Uh, the Leadership Academy is a college and workforce readiness program that offers students uh, the chance to interact with key business executives from their community and also receive leadership training. The Effective Leadership Academy will run the MCLA program from July 22nd to July 26th from noon, uh, from, I'm sorry, 9 a.m. to noon. And the first day of the program will be here in our council chambers. So we're looking forward to welcoming those students here. And last but not least, if anyone was wondering about the former Potbelly's uh, restaurant on Sam, Charlie's Philly Steaks will be moving in there. Plans have been approved and will, work is underway, uh, will be underway soon. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Mayor. Are there any questions from the Mayor? 
Seeing none, we'll move to Director of Finance, Mrs. Fagan. Thank you. Um, I just wanted, I have no formal report tonight, but I did want to say thank you to all of council. This was my first budget season. We had some very healthy conversation back and forth, emails that went back and forth, and I believe all of uh, the questions have been answered, and I appreciate all of the input. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions for Mrs. Fagan? Seeing none, we'll move to Director of Law, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I have no report this evening. Are there any questions for Mr. Murphy? Sorry, I went out of order, so I apologize. <laughs> Next on the agenda are reports of committees, commissions, and boards. We'll start with the building committee, Mrs. Snyder. Thank you, Madam Chair. We are working on a date to go over the sign ordinance and amusement fees, and I will let everyone know when that will be. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Snyder. Are there any questions for Mrs. Snyder? Seeing none, we'll move on to finance and audit committee, Mrs. Sabetta. Thank you, Madam President. The um, Finance and Audit Committee did meet on March 6th. The purpose of the meeting was the annual 219 um, appropriations and its ordinance 2019-7. We can address it when it presents itself on the agenda. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Sabetta. Are there any questions for Mrs. Sabetta? Seeing none, we'll move on to Legislative Committee, Mrs. Teresi is in here. I think Mr. Mano. I have no report. Ma no report. Okay. Any questions from Mr. Mano? Next, we'll go to Public Works and Service Committee, Mr. Balstrom. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, no official report. The committee hasn't met, but I'm asking Lisa to schedule a meeting uh, forthcoming to discuss uh, our sidewalk program. Thank you, Mr. Balstrom. Are there any questions of Mrs. Mr. Balstrom? Next is Park and Recreation Committee, Mr. Mano. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, the Spring Summer Recreation Activity Guide will be hitting home soon. The book has all the recreational programs, activities, and special events for residents of all ages that the city puts on. If you do not get an activity guide, please call the Recreation Department and we will get one out to you. Resident registration for day camp, swim lessons, and pool passes begins on Saturday, April 6th from 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. at the Dijon Community Center. Please visit the website, www.mayfieldheights.org, for more details and watch your mail for the brochure coming soon. Silver Social Dance will be on March 23rd <clears throat> from 6 to 8.30 p.m., Join us for a dinner and dancing at the Dijon Community Center. Dinner will include cavatel, um, chicken cutlet, salad, dessert, coffee, and water. Music provided by Turnaround. It's $10 per person. Advanced registration is required by this Friday, March 15th. The Pancake Breakfast. Join Mayor DeSico and City Council on Sunday, April 7th from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. for all-you-can-eat pancakes, French toast, and sausage. Tickets can be purchased in advance from the mayor, any city council member, Parks and Rec Commission members, or at City Hall. Pre-sale tickets are $5 per person, $6 at the door. Kids 6 eat, 6 and under eat free. The Bunny Brunch will be Saturday, April 13th, from 9 to 10.30 at the Dijon Community Center. Tickets are $7 per person. Pre-registration is required. For more information, call the Recreation Department at 440-442-2627. Thank you, that's my report. Thank you, Mr. Mano. I write down everything so I can pass it on to the kids. Madam Any President. Yeah. Yes, Mayor. <laughs> um, I just wanted to give you um, a heads up, uh, Don. Um, I know you've um, brought the floors at the community center, you, you've mentioned them quite a few times about the condition of the floors right. there. Um, we did get a couple quotes on um, stripping them bare, which is what they need to be, um, which needs to happen, I should say. And um, I guess wax was never supposed to be put on there. So uh, stripping them bare and then sealing them is what we're planning on doing. And then we could, real that machine that we purchased a few years ago, uh, will really work much better on those floors then. So it's not inexpensive, but um, it should work really well. So Thank you, Mayor. You're That's welcome. good good news. Any other questions for Mr. Mano? 
Next, we'll move on to safety and transportation. Mr. DeJohn. Thank you, Madam President. I, I also, like Mr. Mantle, would like to commend Chief Elliott on another great job in preparing the 2018 annual report. This report can be find, uh, found on the Mayfield Heights Fire Department web page under the annual report page. Just a few highlights to this report. Uh, firefighters responded to 3,998 3, incidents in 2018. Of these incidents, 3,276 were medical emergency services and 722 were fire related. Please visit that report on the website for various informations, information about our fire department. On one side note, please remember the fire department will install the new photoelectronic smoke detectors in our residence home at no cost to the residents. Funding for this program is made available through federal grants and donations. Also, the fire department will install safety lock boxes in people's homes so they can enter the home quickly without damaging the resident's property. These residential lock, lock boxes are secure safes that can be ex accessed only by the fire department. Thank you, and that concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. DeJohn. Are there any questions from Mr. DeJohn? Next, we'll move on to Board of Zoning, Mrs. Sabetta. Thank you, Madam President. There is a meeting tomorrow here in Council Chambers at 7 p.m. There are three items on the agenda. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Sabetta. Are there any questions of Mrs. Sabetta? Seeing none, we'll move on to Planning Commission. Mr. Balstria. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, the Planning Commission met last Monday, uh, March the 4th. Council was copied on the minutes. Uh, as a result of that meeting, uh, we have one resolution and one ordinance before you this evening. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. Bellstria. Are there any questions for Mr. Bellstria? Seeing none, we'll move on to the public portion of the meeting. Pursuant to city code, each person will be allotted five minutes to speak with the maximum of 30 minutes allotted for the entire public portion. Although it is not a time for public debate, this is your opportunity to address council with your concerns. Please note there will be no personal attacks or comments. Also, if you're here in a connection with an agenda item, this is your opportunity to address council. If you would like to be heard this evening, please raise your hand, be recognized by the chair, then approach the podium and state your name and address for the record. It is now 720. I will open up the public portion. Sir? Yes, please. My name is uh, Jules Pelkin. I live at uh, 2219 Lander Haven Court. Um, and I'm hoping that I can take a few minutes of your time. Um, reference the, um, the building that's going up on Landerbrook, the senior uh, home services. Um, over the uh, years that I've lived in um, Mayfield Heights, uh, 19 years, Certainly, the quality of service has been excellent. Um, we lived in many service suburbs over the years, and Mayfield Heights does a great job. So I uh, bring this to note because I feel that uh, something has been missing. Um, on around September 25th of 2018, a member of our community, the Lander Haven Court Committee, addressed a letter to, um, to Paul Murphy, uh, reference an easement that was uh, supposed to be passed, reference that group of, of buildings. At that point, um, we had not heard from Mr. Murphy, and a uh, letter was addressed to Councilman Balestrea on October 30th. November 2nd, uh, it was responded to by Councilman saying that he was um, going on vacation, but he would respond uh, directly and refer it again to Paul Murphy. On the 
December 3rd, uh, there was a letter that was again sent to uh, Councilman Balistrea saying we had not heard from the law director and uh, was wondering what was happening. Um, on December 3rd, Councilman responded, thanks for the follow-up. I will address with the law director tomorrow as the rationale of the, de de of the delay. That was December 3rd. On December 20th, um, we corresponded with the councilman again. Um, what did you learn from the law director? Uh, on Sir, keep in mind you only have three minutes left. I have three minutes left? That's it. Thank you. Uh, on December 26th, there was a response saying he will give uh, Paul Murphy a call tomorrow. On January 16th, uh, again, um, a letter from uh, Mr. Balistria saying that I followed up with the law director yesterday at the council meeting. He stated he had not contacted you, but assured me he will. He told me the reason for the delay of the easement was senior living request for permit. He stated that, that should be forthcoming within a few weeks. That was on January 16th. On February 25th, uh, again, a letter to uh, Mr. Murphy, um, understood the mayor to say that he had signed it on behalf of the city. When you have a moment, please let me know the status. That was our last communication. So I'm just wondering if perhaps we can address that matter this evening. Mr. Murphy? Uh, yes, with regard to the letters, I have received no letters from you or anybody in your uh, condominium development, but I have been contacted by email by. Um, um, I forget his name, but the easement is currently with the developer and is ready to be recorded. I have not received word that it's been recorded yet, but I would assume that it would have been, they've got it. Thank so. you, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Anybody else like to be heard this evening in the back? Jim Wallace uh, with Prospectus Architecture, excuse me, 5548 Canterbury Lane, Highland Heights, Ohio. And um, I'm here tonight to request uh, council to submit for rezoning to city planning for the northwest parcel at the corner of Cedar Road and Landerbrook Drive. Uh, that's currently an empty parcel. It was originally zoned as a U2A1 planned unit development. I think it's been empty for quite some time. We have a doctor's group who is interested in purchasing the property and putting a medical office building on the site. It would require us to rezone the property to U7 district. So we are requesting that this evening. Um, Dr. Garcia currently leases some space in Mayfield Heights. His business, Apex Dermatology, is located in one of the Landenbrook buildings currently he's looking at uh, putting an expanded office on this location as well as uh, future tenants as well as his corporate headquarters as well as a pathology office possible so um, he's looking at bringing somewhere from 30 to 40 employees to this site and uh, we're looking for zoning we'll also have a number of variances we'll be in search of for um, the size of the parcel and potentially some setbacks when we get to that point. Thank you. We will refer that to the Planning Commission. Thank you. Thank you for coming this evening. Anybody else like to be heard this evening? Sir? I'm John Molchan from 
Fairchild Management Company, 1966 Reeds Court Trail. That's in Westlake, Ohio, 44145. Um, we have two items um, on the agenda related to a sign on the east side of the building that we're proposing to build. Um, we went to the, the BZA and it was denied. Um, we, it got denied for two reasons. One, I'm an idiot. And two, I'm an idiot because I didn't realize there were a bunch of rules from the Ohio Supreme Court that said what qualifies and what doesn't qualify. Um, the Supreme Court has a list of seven items, and I think that the based on those seven items that the, the uh, variance should have been approved if I had properly presented it. The most important one was for the very first variance where we don't have an unlimited, unrestricted egress and ingress. Anybody can get out of the building, um, but only customers can get into the building. Um, and I believe that, that the, the meaning the purpose of that was so that you couldn't declare fire exits and things like that to be a door to put a sign over. <clears throat> um, the seventh item that the Supreme Court did, the reason that there, th people can't get in is there's a keypad entrance for only customers to get in. It keeps the thieves, vandals, rapists, and other people with ill intent. <laughs> and I can't believe that the intent of the ordinance was to keep, was to not to allow, to allow thieves, rapists, vandals, et cetera, to go into a building that will be unoccupied most of the time. Um, also, the, the rule that said that you can only have a sign where there was a door, there's only five properties not covered by the Mayfield Corridor Manual. Um, they are Ashley, who has a, a huge sign without a door. Costco, which has a sign on the back of the building without a door. Best Buy that has a huge sign on the back of the building without a door, roughly tw double the size of what we've requested. And the Comfort Inn, which is exactly right next door to us, not facing the freeway like the others, although ours is visible from the freeway, this cannot be seen from anywhere on the freeway. There's not even a curb cut on the side of the building. They were allowed to have a door, so you can't set a bad precedent because everybody else already has a sign. So I would hope that um, you would approve the variance request. Thank you, sir. Anybody else like to be heard this evening? Seeing none, we will close the public portion at 7.30. Next on agenda is resolution 2019-23, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Resolution number 2019-23, a resolution approving a lot consolidation and lot split of Cuyahoga County permanent parcel numbers 863 863-25-035, 863-25-036, 863-25-037, 863-25-038 and 863-25-039 Bridgeport Way so as to create five parcels. First reading. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Is there a motion to suspend the rules? Moved by Mrs. Snyder. Second. Seconded by Mr. Mano. Can I have a roll call, please, on the motion to suspend the rules? Mrs. Savetta? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mr. Dijon? Yes. Mr. Balestria? Yes. Mrs. Spinney? Yes. Can I have a motion to approve? Move. Moved by Mr. Mano, seconded by Mrs. Snyder. Discussion. Mr. Balestria? Uh, thank you. This is a unanimous uh, decision uh, to approve, uh, to grant uh, by the Planning Commission. Uh, the applicant, the developer, is looking to take uh, three duplex homes uh, and convert those into five uh, single family dwellings. Uh, he felt that the, the marketing conditions have changed and uh, he would like to, to make those uh, changes on his property. And uh, seeing that the Planning Commission didn't have any objection, again, we went ahead and, and, and granted that motion. Thank you, Mr. Balestria. Anybody else? Roll call, please, Lisa. Mr. Pelstria? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mr. Dijon? Yes. 
Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Resolution 2019-23 has been adopted. Next on our agenda is Resolution 2019-24. Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, resolution number 2019-24, a resolution amending the various petty cash and change funds and declaring an emergency. First reading. Thank you. Is there a motion to suspend the rules? Move. Moved by Mr. Mano, seconded by Mr. Balstria. Can we have a roll call on the motion to suspend? Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. DeJohn? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Is there a motion to approve? Moved. Moved by Mr. Balistria, seconded by Mrs. Snyder. Discussion, Mrs. Fagan. Thank you, Madam President. This is uh, a cleaning up and deleting several petty cash accounts that were no longer in use and amending some of the others to make business of the city a little more efficient for all involved. Thank you. Anybody else? Hey, Mr. Bellstrand? Ms. Fagan, just, I'm just curious how, how they came about determining those particular dollar amounts. Is that just based on prior usage or was that something we had set before or we upped it? Or? There are only, there's one that's being adjusted and two new ones that are being added and those were at the request of the different department heads. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any, anybody else? Roll call please, Lisa. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. DeJohn? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Resolution 2019-24 has been adopted. Next on our agenda, we'll move on to ordinances. First, we'll go with 2019-4, which was our public hearing. Uh, Mr. Murphy, do you need to read that again? Yes, I do. Okay, please do. Resolution number 2019-4, an ordinance approving the solid waste management plan update 2019 to 2033 in the city of Mayfield Heights for the Cuyahoga County Solid Waste Management District. That is third reading. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there a motion to approve? Move. Moved by Mr. Mano, seconded by Mr. Balistria. Any further discussion? I know we've been listening to this for a while. Anybody? Roll call, please, Lisa. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mr. DeJohn? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Ordinance 2019-4 has been adopted. Next on our agenda is Ordinance 2019-7. Mr. Murphy, please. Thank you, Madam Chair. Ordinance number 2019-7, an ordinance making appropriations for current expenses and other expenditures of the City of Mayfield Heights, State of Ohio, during the fiscal year ending December 31, 2019. First reading. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Is there a motion to suspend the rules? Oh. Moved by Mr. Mano, seconded by Mr. Balistria. Could I have a roll call on the motion to suspend, please? Mr. DeJohn? No. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. The vote was five to one, it fails. So um, ordinance 2019-7 has been put on first reading. Madam President. Mr. John? Yeah, the reason I wanted to go on readings, I wanted um, Mrs. Uh, Teresi to be here to vote on it. So we had a full council and she'll be here at the next meeting. Okay, thank you. Next on our agenda is Ordinance 2019-8. Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Ordinance number 2019-8, an ordinance amending Section 11 of Ordinance number 2018-27, providing for the organization of certain administrative departments and fixing the salaries and bonds of certain officers and employees therein and declaring an emergency. Uh, this pertains to the addition of a deputy clerk of council position. First reading. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Is there a motion to suspend the rules? Moved by Mrs. Snyder. Second. Seconded by Mr. Balistria. Could I have a roll call on the motion to suspend, please? Mr. 
Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mr. DeJohn? Yes. Mr. Balestria? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Is there a motion to approve? Moved by Mrs. Snyder, seconded by Mrs. Sabetta. Discussion? Um, I think we all discussed this quite off uh, a few times because we're losing our deputy clerk is retiring, Lisa over there, and we're going to miss her dearly, but we have to replace her. So, <laughs> Any other discussion? Can I have a roll call, please? Mr. Balestria? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mr. DeJohn? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes, Ordinance 2019-8 has been adopted. Next in our agenda is Ordinance 2019-9. Mr. Murphy, please. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Ordinance number 2019-9, an ordinance amending Chapter 1191 of the codified ordinances of the city titled Signs by amending Section 1191.10 pertaining to banners on utility poles and declaring an emergency. First reading. Thank you. Do I have a motion to place Ordinance 2019-9 on first reading? Moved by Mrs. Sabata, seconded by Mrs. Snyder. Roll call, please, Lisa. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. DeJohn? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mr. Balestria? Yes. Mrs. Sabata? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Ordinance 2019-9 has been placed on first reading. Madam the President? If I could, I just wanted to um, let everybody know we have uh, potentially, it's 35 for sure banners right now. Uh, we may be up to 38. So, That's very successful. Fabulous. It's going to be a great. Madam President. Mr. DeJohn? I just have one question. Um, the way the language reads, it says signs and banners placed to celebrate, commemorate, or memorialize a person or idea. Do you need an explanation of what that idea? What do you mean by that, Mr. Murphy? It's a concept, an idea. Um, We're trying to honor our hometown heroes. I understand a person that. Person or I, idea would I'm be all a for person that. or. Um, your idea is an idea. It's uh, you know, it's a, as I said, a concept. It's something that uh, you know the the mayor would determine whether or not that qualifies. If somebody wanted to memorialize, um, let's say uh, a memorial for World War II or the Vietnam War or some other than a person, a concept other than a person is is the best I could describe it. Mayor, or maybe in the future, who knows if uh, a significant anniversary of a business in town comes along, and we want to be able to to uh, acknowledge that. Maybe that would be something we want to do. Oh, your hundredth birthday? Oh wait, my hundredth. <laughs> <birthday. laughs> Kidding. Thank you. Okay. There are no motions this evening, so is there any other business or comments from council, Mr. Mana? Quick comment. I noticed a lot of cities are getting grants from NOACA to convert their street lighting to LED lighting. Have we checked into that at all? Mayor? If they say it cuts the cost of the lighting in half. That was in uh, that Gardner, I believe that was part of the Gardner um, yeah. uh, proposal. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Okay, do I have a motion to adjourn? Moved. Moved by Mr. Balestria, seconded by Mrs. Sabata. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We are now adjourned. Thank you all for joining us this evening.